We return now to our second lead story, the fallout after FBI agents raid the office and the home of President Trump's personal lawyer. John Yang begins with what we know about this unusual step and the many questions swirling around how Mr. Trump might respond. Are you thinking about firing Deputy Attorney General Rod Rosenstein? Today, President Trump was not speaking to television cameras about the fate of the Russia investigation. Thank you. But White House Press Secretary Sarah Sanders said the president thinks it's gone too far and that he has the power to end it. Does the president believe he has the power to fire special counsel Robert Mueller? Does he believe that's within his power? Uh, certainly believes he has the power to do so. The president triggered speculation about special counsel Robert Mueller last night. Why don't I just fire Mueller? Well, I think it's a disgrace what's going on. We'll see what happens. And many people have said you should fire him. Mr. Trump's anger was sparked by FBI raids on the Manhattan office and hotel room of Michael Cohen, the president's longtime personal attorney. I just heard that they broke into the office of one of my personal attorneys, good man, and uh, it's a disgraceful situation. It's a total witch hunt. It's widely reported the FBI seized thousands of Cohen's records dealing with two women who say they had sexual affairs with Mr. Trump in 2006. In 2016, Cohen paid $130,000 to adult film star Stephanie Clifford, known as Stormy Daniels, as part of a non-disclosure agreement. The other woman, Karen McDougal, was paid $150,000 for her story by the National Enquirer's parent company, even though it never reported it. Some of the documents are said to involve Mr. Trump's communications with Cohen. The disclosure prompted the president to protest today that attorney-client privilege is dead. In fact, not all communications between lawyers and clients are privileged. There's the so-called crime-fraud exception for communications made with the intent of covering up a crime. A third-party team of investigators will likely be tasked to decide whether Cohen's messages with the president are protected or not. In a statement, Cohen's lawyer said the raids were carried out by the U.S. Attorney's Office in Manhattan based on a referral by Mueller. The searches were authorized by Deputy Attorney General Ron Rosenstein, who's overseeing the special counsel's investigation. Democratic Senator Richard Blumenthal of Connecticut called it a seismic step. This kind of raid is extraordinary. It could not have been done if there were not near certainty that he was going to either destroy evidence or plan or commit a crime that involved obstruction of justice and that there was evidence that would be destroyed. Republican Senator Lindsey Graham of South Carolina brushed aside speculation that the president would try to dismiss the special counsel, but added a word of warning. I'm not concerned that he'll fire Mueller. I don't think he'll fire Rosenstein. That would be the beginning, the end of his presence, and he's not going to do that. Legislation to protect Mueller has stalled in the Senate, and leader Mitch McConnell says he sees no need to act on it. For the PBS NewsHour, I'm John Yang. Our White House correspondent, Yamiche Alcindor, is here with me now to help fill in the picture. So, Yamiche, you've been reporting on this all day. Where do things stand right now with regard to uh, Michael Cohen and what he's been, uh, what the, this FBI raid? Well, Michael Cohen and his lawyer have been very tight-lipped all day. I called his personal cell phone today, Michael Cohen's personal cell phone, and someone literally hung up on me when I introduced myself. But we now know that, that Michael Cohen has spoken to CNN, and he told CNN that he is very worried about this, about the raids that happened. He said that he really wants all of this to be over with. He said that if he had to do it again, he might have handled that $130,000 payment to Stormy Daniel Daniels differently. Um, but this is, there's this idea that Sarah Sanders also said that the president is joining, is growing very weary of Mueller's investigation and kind of thinks that he's going too far. So things stand right now are, are that the president's tired of what's going on and that these raids um, could be something that's really scary for Michael Cohen. But, but, uh, but it's interesting that he's saying that he would have done it another way. I think that's the first time we've heard him say that. It's the first time that we've heard him say that. And it, unlike in the past where the president is kind of doubling down and saying that the FBI is breaking into his, broke into his offices, Michael Cohen actually said that they were very courteous to him and that he really is just very worried. He said he's worried about his family and how this could affect him. So he's not someone that's saying, I did everything right. He did say that he believes that he did everything legally right, but there's this idea that he feels that something 
anything could go wrong. And these investigations don't have to just focus on collusion. They don't have to just focus on Russia. If they find something that's improprietary, they find something that's wrong financially, it could be something completely unrelated. That could hurt Michael Cohen. And of course, that could also hurt the president if he's involved. So separately from all this, there's been talk, Yamish, you know, about whether the president, what the president is thinking about Robert Mueller. A lot of speculation about whether he may fire him. What are your sources telling you about that? My sources are telling me, and Sarah Sanders said today, that the president believes he has the power to fire Robert Mueller and that he, that he has been advised that he can do that. That's very, very important because the White House has always said that the president wasn't thinking about firing Robert Mueller, but that is confirmation that he's been advised about how he could do it. The problem is that that could set off a constitutional crisis. Legal experts that I've talked to say that the DOJ rules show that the, 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 the president himself cannot directly fire Robert Mueller, that he would have to go through a chain of commands at the DOJ to do that. So if he if he if he didn't do that, um, that could be a really big problem. But and Sarah Sanders said that she didn't think that he was going to have any intention of firing Robert Mueller right now. But she did say that he's frustrated with both the FBI director and Jeff Sessions. So there could be still changes to come. A lot to follow, Yamiche Alcindor. Thank you. Thanks.